Hi, Pastor Nick here. Uh, as you can see, I'm ready to go golfing, but uh, everything's closed. Uh, and, and when it comes down to it, I'm really tired. I'm not sure how you're feeling about uh, the whole still uh, stay at home and everyone still in quarantine and everyone kind of just sticking around the house. But I'm tired. I'm tired of not being able to go out and do things. I'm tired of uh, having to stay home. I'm tired of not being able to see all of you on Sunday mornings or throughout the week, but instead we're kind of doing this video uh, conference thing, which is good, uh, but I realized that it's a lot like uh, when I would go on mission trips and I would FaceTime my kids and we'd have video chats. It's not quite the same as me actually being there with them. It's good. I enjoy seeing them and talking with them and it makes me happy to see them, but it's, there's something that's so different about being there in person with them. And uh, there's something that's so different about uh, us as a church family being able to get together. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm just tired. I, I'm tired of all of it. And then uh, to hear that maybe it'll be extended till May 15th, I'm not sure. I'm uh, still looking up some news reports on that. But I'm just tired. And uh, so I wanted to share with you something uh, that I hope would be uh, encouraging to you. It was uh, encouraging to me this morning as I was reading it. It's a Psalm 40. It says, I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction, out of the miry bog, and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust, who does not turn to the proud, to those who go astray after a lie. <clears throat> You have multiplied, O Lord my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts towards us. None can compare with you. I will, I will proclaim and tell of them, yet they are more than can be told. In sacrifice and offering you have not delighted, but you have given me an open ear. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. Then I said, Behold, I have come in the scroll of the book it is written of me. I will delight to do your will, O my God. Your law is within my heart. I have told the glad news of deliverance in the great congregation. Behold, I have not restrained my lips, as you know, O Lord. I have not hidden your deliverance within my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your steadfast love and your faithfulness from the great congregation. As for you, O Lord, you will not restrain your mercy from me. Your steadfast love and your faithfulness will ever per preserve me. For evils have encompassed me beyond number. My iniquities have overtaken me, and I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head, and my heart fails me. But please, O Lord, to deliver me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those be put to shame and disappointed altogether who do seek to snatch away my life. Let those, who be let those be turned back and brought to dishonor who delight in my hurt. Let those be appalled because of their shame who say to me, Aha! Aha! But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say continually, Great is the Lord. And as for me, I am poor and needy, but the Lord takes thought for me. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O oh my God. And this is the same God who watched out and took care of David, uh, the same God who loves us uh, and is watching out for you and taking care of you and, and me. And, and we are poor and, and needy in, in spirit many times, or maybe we're tired or frustrated or impatient. But we know that God is always there to help us and uh, that we seek, uh, we seek him and we put our trust in him. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we say great is the Lord. And Father, we pray that you would look upon us, uh, that you would give us help from you. You would be our deliverer. You would not delay. Uh, remind us of all the good that you have done. Remind us of how steadfast your love is. And Father, I pray that you would meet us where uh, we are. Uh, if uh, we're tired, that you would give us uh, strength and energy, and uh, if we're frustrated and impatient, that you would give us peace, uh, and uh, where, whatever it is, God, you have said we can come to you, and you will provide for us. So, Father, uh, help us, uh, deliver us through this time, uh, and be with us, and Father, I pray that uh, we would continue to be able to uh, meet uh, uh, through the phone and uh, through video chats. But Father, I pray that also that you would speed the time that we would be able to meet together in person, worshiping you together, uh, that we might be able to gather in that great congregation and just talk about how faithful you are and how good you are uh, and praise your name with all of our voices as one 
as we lift it up to you because you are our God and we are your people. And Father, we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.